let's go to the mayor closing down the lakefronts, and that's not all. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff is live at City Hall, and Dana, the mayor was crystal clear today about her message. Yeah, and she was adamant about what she had to say today, Erica. And she says if these measures, these closures don't work, she won't hesitate to take further action. City leaders saying just hours ago, this is not a game. Most Chicagoans have been doing their part, but many have not. And you know who you are. And that is one reason why Mayor Lori Lightfoot made good on her threat beginning last night, but officially this morning, she's ordered the entire lakefront, its paths, the 606 trail and the river walk closed to the public indefinitely. And the mayor says she has every right to do it. We have the authority uh, under the municipal code. Um, the public health director has very broad authorities um, under the uh, code. Obviously, we had the lawyers scrub this uh, 20 ways from Sunday. Mayor Lightfoot says the public forced her hand after crowds like these flooded the lakefront Wednesday, sometimes in large groups, despite the coronavirus stay at home order statewide. Your conduct, yours, is posing a direct threat to our public health. Parks near the lake are also closed. Chicago's interim police superintendent Charlie Beck says all closed areas will be actively patrolled. One warning will be given after that a ticket, after that an arrest. Beck says officers gave 56 warnings Wednesday, issued one citation, and that citation then became one arrest. Follow the law. You know, don't, don't make us enforce the law through citation and or arrest. Follow it voluntarily and then we won't even have to get to this point. You know. Interim Superintendent Beck says that people can be arrested for defying a public health order. Also, regarding exercise, the mayor says you can still go out and take walks. You can walk your dog. You can go for a short run. Just not, not in closed areas and not around other people. Reporting live outside City Hall, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.